Hi, it's Teresa Austin Paper and I'm back with another card using this fantastic set from Katzelcraft called Les Jungles and I'm actually going to be making another Cards for Men card and this is in my images series but today I really wanted to create my own frame. I've seen lots of gold frames around and I just really like the look of it and I don't have anything much that I can use so I thought I'd go this way. But first I'm going to stamp out my image and this is really what gave me the idea. It's a it's the monkey image from the set and he has this feather hat on and I just thought it looked fantastic in gold and then I thought oh I'll add a frame and it just all kind of went from there. So I've stamped that in some onyx black ink and just set that aside to dry while I create my frame. So I've got a jelly bean soup. This is the square set die and I'm just running this through my big shot and I want to emboss so I want to you know kind of take it to the next level and emboss a pattern onto it so I've got this is an embossing folder and literally I had to look up <laughs> on the inside of my plate how to emboss again it's been such a long time since I've used my embossing folders so I'm jigging around my um gold square label what do you call it frame and making sure that it's going to be exactly where I want on you know get the pattern that I want on it and then just run it through my die cutting machine I did decide just to use uh it's a green marker it's called pear tart it's a memento marker just to mark around the edge I find that green works really really well when you're edging or trying to match gold it's obviously sort of got that green tinge to it and it, and it works much better than black or gray I also die cut a second frame and this is out of some fun foam adding some medium to that so that I can pop this up on the front of my card so this matte medium does take a little bit to dry so I thought I'd do this now and then I can add a bit of pressure what I usually like to do is sit my block on top of the glue and on top of the die cut just um, to hold it in place and then while I do the rest of my card that'll by the time I need it it'll be nice and dry I have some Prismacolor pencils. Actually, no, I think I'm using my Polychromos pencils today and I need a couple of Prismacolors. And um, I will list all the colors that I'm using over at my blog and the link will be in the YouTube description below. And these colors, I'm getting used to the way that they color. I don't press as hard as I would with Prismacolors and I'm not using Gamsol to blend today. I'm actually using the pencils to blend with each other. These are a oil-based um, pencil, whereas the Prismacolor are a wax-based. And you can actually use them together, but at the moment I'm still sort of practicing with the Polychromos, so I'm, I'm trying to use them on their own um, just on the body of the monkey and I think I actually bring the skin tones in that's when I get the Prismacolors out because I don't think I actually have any skin tones in the Polychromos. So I think they blend really well. I haven't, I can't see pencil marks. I haven't used any Gamsol or Odalus White Mineral Spirit and I really like the, the look of this monkey. He's really cheeky. <laughs> So I've just got the light peach and the peach for the kind of skin tones. I thought it'd be fun to have like a bit of a skin tone on this monkey. Sometimes you see that in pictures. Now I have got my, this is my sparkle pen from Spectrum Noir and this is out of the metallic set and it's a gold one. And I don't know if anyone, anyone else has this problem, but this gold pen doesn't seem to have much glitter in it. So if you can let me know in the comments down below if you have the same problem with your gold sparkle pen. But um, I did shake it up. I um, actually shook it up for ages. I bled a little bit of the ink out of the end as well and it it has got sparkle but nowhere near as much as the rest of the pens and I'm just wondering if it's just my actual pen or if anyone else has the same problems. I decided to add um, the, some ground underneath the monkey and this is just using different layers of green to create my own grass. Nothing fancy here, just lots of little stroke marks. <laughs> 
All right, so like I said, not happy with the shimmer that I got on my gold crown. So what I've done here is let that dry and come back in with my clear marker. And that's made all the difference. I'm just trying to catch it on the camera here. Hopefully you can see it there. So next it's time for my sentiment. And I've got a penny black set that's called Love and Yoga. And it has this namaste. And I thought the font and the word were perfect for this little meditating monkey. And I'll just use my onyx black again for that. And now it's time to adhere my frame down. I'm using my matte medium again. And I just find this holds really well on the front of a card. I have got some collage glue to try. And I'm not sure if it's going to work on the fun foam. But I'll let you know. Hopefully I'll get around to sorting that out real soon. I've had heaps to do lately. So I'm starting to catch up now. So that'll be good. You might see some more from me around the traps. So thanks for joining me today. If my cards were meant, I'll be back again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.